So today the Packers have made a few different moves to get down to that 80 man roster. Today at 4 p.m. was the deadline for all NFL teams to move from 85 guys on their roster to 80 guys on their roster. And the Packers did make a couple different moves to get to that 80 man mark. Um, so I'm going to go down, go over that in this video. If you guys are new here, you want to see more Packers content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I put out probably one or two videos a day on all Packers news, breakdowns, analysis, all of that kind of stuff. So today a couple moves were made by the Packers. Uh, first off here from Rob Domofsky, it says, um, with safety real Will Redmond on injured reserve for, for a toe injury he suffered in the preseason game. Uh, cornerback Kadar Holman to the Texans for a 2022 seventh round pick. That happened yesterday. Um, LB, linebacker Kamal Martin, he was released yesterday. Defensive tackle Josh Avery was released today. And tight end Daniel Crawford was released. The Packers are down to 80. So those are the five different moves that have been, have been made in the past two days to get down to 80 guys. Um, as you guys know, yesterday, um, Kadar Holman was traded to the Texans, as well as Kamal Martin being released. Also, Daniel Crawford yesterday was released. And then today it came out that Josh Avery is released and safety Will Redmond unfortunately has been sent to the IR, which is definitely going to make you know, that fight for the final few safety spots, a lot more interesting. I think it's definitely probably one of the biggest battles right now where, at least for me, I'm not exactly sure who's going to make that final spot um, or the final couple spots when it comes to safety. Will Wet Redmond was a guy, you know, who backed up yes or last year. He played in 13 games and he was, you know, a pretty key special teams guy for the Packers. And so now with him out of the picture, um, we have guys like Vernon Scott, Henry Black, Ennis Gaines, and Christian Uphoff all fighting for those final few safety spots obviously with Darnell Savage and Adrian Amos being the top two, you know, safeties for the Green Bay Packers and, you know, some of the best safeties in the NFL. Um, but the backside of the of the safeties for the Packers is definitely going to be a battle um, coming into these final, you know, eight days until the Packers 53-man roster is released. And honestly, I'm not too sure who is going to get, you know, added to the roster or be on the 53-man roster for the safeties because I've seen a lot from Christian Uphoff and Ennis Gaines. Um, there was a few different clips of Christian Uphoff, you know, playing special teams uh, last week in the preseason game. He's basically doing a very good job of being that gunner, gunner the guy who runs down, tackles a guy. Um, he's been doing really good at that. So maybe because he's, you know, been excelling so much when it comes to special teams, they'll add him. But also Ennis Gaines has flashed at times as well. So it's really going to be a battle. And I, honestly, I have no clue which ones are going to make it because Henry Black has also showed lots of good stuff as well as Vernon Scott. So it's definitely going to be a battle for this safety position. And then looking over at defensive line with the Packers releasing um, Josh Avery. I don't think you know many people expected him to make the 53-man roster. Um, of course, for our defensive line there, we got Kenny Clark, Kinsley Kiki, uh, Dean Lowry, Tedrell Slayton, Tyler Lancaster, Jack Heflin. Um, so there's definitely still a battle there as well. Um, the big battle, I'd say, is for Jack, Jack Heflin. Can he potentially push out Tyler Lancaster for that, you know, one of the final spots of the defensive tackles? It's a good question because Tyler Lancaster has been here for a few years, but Jack Heflin has done a lot in these few, you know, preseason games. He's definitely standing out. So that's another position to watch. Um, also, I have an injury update for Jordan Love. It came out earlier today from Rob Domofsky here. You can see it says, a good, a good sign for Jordan Love's availability for Saturday's preseason finale. No apparent setback with his shoulder after yesterday's limited participation, and he's in full pads today. So he's been dealing with that uh, throwing, or his, uh, what's it called? He's been dealing with that shoulder injury that he sustained in the first preseason game that he played in, um, in one of his final drives in that game. Of course, he misses last, week game, last week's game. Kurt Benkert, Benkert goes in there, plays most of the game. Um, but luckily now it looks that Jordan Love was participating today in full pads. So that's definitely a good sign for Jordan Love. And hopefully he'll be able to play this Saturday in the preseason game because it is the Packers' final preseason game. And it's definitely, I think, important for Jordan Love to sort of show what he has because all we've seen from him in live action is that one preseason game. But it's looking up for him. It's looking like he's going to get to go considering he was practicing today and today is Tuesday. So there's still what? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There's still four days till the game on Saturday. So it seems to me like he's going to be able to play. It hasn't like come out officially, but it sort of looks like he's progressing in that way. Um, but those are all the updates for today for the Packers news. If you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next one.